Hello there everyone. I want to tell you about a little bit of a discovery that I made today. There's a place around my part of the world where electronics and things can be taken to be recycled. And initially I thought that's all this place did. They hire people with disabilities and have them recycle the equipment, break it down into component parts and things like that. But as I learned today, there's also a thrift store part of this operation where they take stuff that works or stuff that can be repaired and they actually have people that are there to sell it and sort it and sift through it and all that good stuff. Well, I went through the store today after discovering that it was there and I actually had my mother along with me and no Blazer Lover 25. She didn't conk me over the head with a frying pan. In fact, she went in and did some shopping of her own. And they had the usual selection of housewares and clothing and television sets and digital television converter boxes. But I came across a small door that said, this leads to the warehouse. And I was like, there's no way that can be for the general public to visit. But as it turns out, it was. And it was like I died and gone to some kind of a heaven. Because there was just everything out there. It was probably as long as two football fields set next to one another on their wide side. They had desks and tables with all kinds of stuff on it from housewares to electronics. And although I was pressed for time and couldn't stay very long, I found two very interesting things today. The first of which is a TDK SA90 high bias cassette tape. Brand new in its original wrapping, new old stock. And then there's this thing, which is the subject of today's video. This is an early electronic calculator from Texas Instruments. The model number TI-1025. And this is really kind of a cool piece. It appears to date from the late 1970s. You can see the serial number there. You can see where it was assembled. And you sure wouldn't find too many calculators like that anymore. And then you can see up here this thing, whoops that says 3577 MTA. I would take that to be some kind of a date code, possibly meaning the 35th week of 1977. What information I was able to find about this calculator suggests that it was offered for sale starting in 1977. And of course, down at the bottom, it says this calculator or its components are protected by one or more US patents. As you can see, the calculator industry the early electronic calculator industry was certainly a different place than it is now, where thousands of no-name Chinese companies turn out all kinds of cheap little calculators without so much as a thought about patents or anything else in all likelihood. This thing is powered by a 9-volt battery. Someone thought enough of it to take the battery out of it, so the battery compartment has not been damaged. And then up here it says Texas Instruments Electronic Calculator. A dim or erratic display indicates a discharged battery. And although it kind of looks like they might have misspelled discharged, it is actually spelled correctly. The electronics, the working electronics of this calculator are all up in the top. And in fact, every capacitor in here is a ceramic capacitor. So this thing should never, or at least it should be a very long time, until this thing has any sort of capacitor problems. I gave a whopping 49 cents for that and 49 cents for the cassette tape. This calculator is rather unique in that unlike many of its contemporaries it doesn't have that red glowing display. It actually uses a vacuum fluorescent display as you can see here. The display is green in color. It works quite nicely after putting a new battery in it. For example, I can punch in 8 times 8, and I can press the equals key and get my answer. And of course, like my Eldorado Electrodata Director 2 calculator, you can see that this thing does not blank its display out while it is calculating. So if I run a calculation that would take some time, you can actually see it think when I ask it for the answer. Which is pretty cool. So that was a pretty neat little find and I was actually able to download the user's manual off of the web for this thing and everything. So it's another nice member to my rather unintentional calculator collection. Thank you for watching and feel free to leave a comment if you have one.